Retro helmets are all the rage nowadays. There's just something special about the way those old helmets used to look. In this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the flagship old school models from the two top helmet manufacturers in Japan, Shoei and Arai. Both the Shoei Glamster and the Arai Concept X don't have a whole lot of features that you might expect to find on modern helmets, but then you do have to keep in mind that the only real modern thing about these lids is the protection. In my opinion, both brands have done an equally good job of designing a helmet that looks classic but comes with top class protection, comfort and added convenience. The Arai Concept X features Arai's handmade signature fiberglass outer shell, which needs to pass 5 quality checks to end up on the shelf. It also has a multi-density soft EPS inner shell, quite a large selection of ventilation inlets and outlets, speaker pockets within the removable inner lining, and of course the VAS visor that can be found on a number of Arai's other models, such as the RX 7V. The Shoei Glamster also features a handmade outer shell. Shoei's so-called AIM material, which is a strong but very lightweight mix of fiberglass, carbon fibre and organic fibres. The inside of the helmet features a dual density EPS inner shell and a removable and washable inner lining. The helmet can also be custom fitted with the Shoei personal fitting system. You can read more about this service by clicking on the link in the description below. Both of these helmets come with a pinlock anti-fog lens, they both feature a double D chin strap and they both have the emergency quick release cheek pads, which allow paramedics to easily remove the cheek pads by pulling the red tabs if necessary. And although the names that these helmets have been given are both a bit odd, that doesn't make them any less badass. I mean, you've seen it, you've heard it and you're still asking questions? When do we go for a ride? <laughs> The first ride I did was with the Arai, so let's start with that one. The fit is actually surprisingly good for me, which is pretty nice, because normally the Arai shape doesn't fit me as well as my go-to helmet, which is either the Shoei Neotech 2 or the NXR, depending on the ride. I love the look of the helmet, it's a little bit more aggressive than the Glamster, which I think has a slightly cleaner look. The ventilation is good. As you can see, the helmet has some pretty big vents on the chin, which are closable with a slider on the inside. The vents at the top of the visor also do a pleasant job of rushing some cool air through the inside of the helmet. The large exhausts at the rear are also a pretty neat feature to help vacuum the hot air back out of the helmet. And although this helmet is fairly stable, you will definitely notice the weight of the helmet at low speeds, like in the city. Like most Arai helmets, it weighs a little above average. In this case, it's around 1500 grams in the smallest shell size. You won't notice this when riding on the motorway. The helmet is very comfortable to ride with on a naked bike up to about 100 to 110 kilometers an hour. Above that mark, it does start to move around with the wind a little more. If you're not used to Arai's visor system, then you might have a little bit of trouble opening your visor while riding. Nothing that you won't adjust to though, it just takes a few goes. Overall I had a nice few rides with this helmet and I would definitely consider it among the Glamster and a couple of others if I were to buy a retro lid for myself. And on that note, the Concept X fits my fairly oval shaped head better than most Arai helmets, but the showy Glamster honestly just feels like coming home. For me I have to say it is more comfortable than the Arai. I'm not a big fan of wearing shades inside my helmet, I prefer either a sun visor or a dark outer visor, but it is comfortable enough to wear your sunglasses with both of these helmets, there's no real noticeable difference between the two when it comes to that. I do really love the way that the vents look on this helmet, and also the way that they've been worked into the shell, but it is a shame that the vents on the chin cannot be closed. The ventilation on this lid is pretty good, but I think that the Concept X would probably keep you slightly cooler, especially on a really hot day. It's definitely easier to open and close the top vent on the Shoei though. 
The visor is also more user friendly on the Glamster. It just feels more natural and smoother. And I'm really glad to see that it features a ventilation notch, as does the Concept X. Now there is a big difference in weight between the two helmets. It's instantly noticeable when comparing them. The Shoei only weighs around 1215 grams in the smallest shell size, which is much more comfortable to ride with at low speeds than the 1500 grams of the Arai helmet. Stability wise, the same thing pretty much counts for the Shoei Glamster 2. It handles well and it features the signature ducktail diffuser at the back of the helmet, although it has not been designed for constant high speed rides. Above 110 km an hour you will notice the helmet moving around more with the wind. I can't really say it's very different to how the Arai performs to be honest. Let me be frank, both of these helmets are equally noisy, but then again these babies were built for quality, safety and style. They never intended for them to be the most feature packed luxurious touring helmets. For some, these models will be a nostalgic trip down memory lane. For others, they will complete the cafe racer image that you were looking for. But if you're going to be travelling around the world through nations, continents and you're looking for a new lid, then these probably aren't the right helmets for you. Thanks for checking out our road test video of the Shoei Glamster versus the Arai Concept X. I hope you learned something new and that you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to do me a small favour, you can hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our channel. That way we can keep providing you with new content and you'll never miss out on any of the fun. You can order these helmets over at fortomoto.com where we offer worldwide shipping and of course the best prices. Thanks again and I'd like to see you next time. Thank you.